Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. And hi again, everyone. The Murray State football program has, well, let's put it this way, picked its next head coach to take the program to when it hits the century mark. Pretty big deal, right? The Racers naming South Carolina tight ends coach Jody Wright as the 20th head coach in program history. Wright is a four-time FBS national champion who has a reputation as a top recruiter and talent evaluator, uh, highlighted by two stints under the legendary head coach Nick Saban, where he served as director of player personnel. Meanwhile, uh, Murray State Athletic Director Nico Yanko says it's very important in the hiring process that he's good in those areas. And here's what Wright had to say about taking the new Murray coach uh, coaching position. Quote, I am thrilled to have been given the opportunity to be the next head football coach at the Murray State Racers. There is an unbelievably rich football tradition at Murray State, and I cannot think of a better time to take the reins of the program than right now entering the 100th season. Now, along with his college experience, uh, Jody Wright also spent some time in the NFL. His contract is subject to approval also by the Murray State Board of Regents. And of course, I just mentioned Alabama head coach Nick Saban. Now this, Saban is retiring after leading the school to six national titles in 17 seasons and winning another at LSU. The 72-year-old Saban also led the Crimson Tide to eight SEC championships. Alabama, of course, lost to Michigan in this year's college football semifinals. Meanwhile, Scott City head football coach Jim May is taking his impressive record about 30 minutes south. May is leaving uh, the Rams to take over the Sykeston football program. Coach May's record at Scott City 85 and 75, but 52 and 18 since 2018. May tells me it was a tough decision to leave the Rams, but he's proud to help restore the pride in that program. Hopes to do the same at Sykeston. The search for May's successor is underway. Well, I didn't have enough time last night to get it in. Tonight I do. The Popper Bluff wrestling team won two big matches. 53 to 30 last night over Notre Dame and 49 to 19 over Kennett. Congrats to the Mules on those uh, Matt wins. Well, college hoops, Saluki star Xavier Johnson named to the Lute Olsen Award. Uh, that's the midseason watch list. The honor goes to the nation's top player. Johnson is second in the nation with 24 points. He's number 10 right there. The Saluki is going for six straight at Valparaiso, and he can not only shoot, but he can also score. Watch the pass this time to Scotty Abube, who goes in there with the dunk. And then, well, how about Clarence Rupert? They're getting it done underneath, and those are what you call those high percentage baskets. That's why they're winning a bunch. And then Trent Brown from the outside in the corner, he drains one. And then we're talking about Xavier Johnson, who finished the night with 22. He scores right here. SIU, well, they make it a half dozen in a row, 77 to 66 over Valpo. More MVC play, Murray State at Missouri State. And first player to make the highlights, Alden Applewhite. Good name, good game. Gets the bucket right there, then Quincy Anderson plus one. It's all going good for the racers, right? Kept going good. Jacoby Wood, first of all, he puts one in with the up and under, and then a little bit later, from way outside, he buries this shot. Murray State puts away Missouri State. Nice MVC win, 77 to 53. That's a look at sports.